family of a man who was stabbed to death Wednesday in Winston-Salem is urging for the violence in the triad to stop. WXI 12's Louis Tran spoke to the victim's mother. He joins us live at the Winston-Salem Police Department. Louis. Good evening, Christine. Mason Williams' mother tells me that her son had two passions in life, football and family. She also tells you that his death impacted an entire community. What you tell him right now? I would hug him and tell him I love him. I just would be back here with me. The bond between a mother and a son is a special one. For Michelle Quincy, it's everything. But now, she's left with a void after her son Mason Williams was stabbed to death on Wednesday. I want um, his murderer, because that's what he was, a murderer, um, to get everything that he deserves, because he didn't have to kill my son. He Winston Sam police say the stabbing happened on Brownsboro Road. On Thursday, police arrested Derek Hairston. Williams' death deeply affected those who loved him. But he affected all of us, so everybody. Now there's tons of people affected by one person making a bad decision. And now my son is gone, and I don't have him no more. I miss my brother, man. I miss my brother. Including Williams' football coach, Daniel Trimnell. He touched so many people, man, and he didn't even realize it. Um, there's, there's three football leagues right now that are are like hurt. The whole semi-pro world is hurt right now over the loss of, of 50. Remembered on the field for his number 50, but to many, Quincy says he gave 100% to those he loved. I just wish my son was here. The suspect, Derek Harrison, is being held at the Forsyth County Jail with no bond. He's also charged with murder. In Winston-Salem, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.